Okay, next we're going to be doing uh, palpation for the head and neck. First we'll start with the bony structures. Uh, here in the front we have our uh, front of the skull. We have our frontal bone. Um, here on the side uh, we have our uh, temporal bone. Uh, we have our occipital bone uh, here in the back. And then we also have our um, scalp, which we can palpate, which, and then we also have our mastoid process, uh, if I can turn this little, here we can palpate at the, at the base of the skull, right be, behind the ear, and then also on this side we have our uh, parietal bone, uh, a little bit easier to see, uh, here in the front, we have our uh, eye orbit, which we can palpate. Uh, and then we also have our uh, nasal bone, that we can palpate. And then our uh, facial bones, we have our, go ahead and turn. Uh, here we have our uh, mandible bone that we can palpate. Uh, we have our maxilla bone that we can um, palpate. And then we have our uh, zygomatic bone that we can uh, palpate right there on the, on the lateral side on both sides. Uh, we can also palpate uh, the mouth and the teeth uh, if we were wearing uh, you know, gloves, it would be better. And another thing that we can uh, palpate here on the uh, lateral sides is if we ask him to open and close his mouth, he ha we have his uh, TMJ joint, uh, which also has a, a ligament. So we're going to be palpating the anterior structures of the neck. Uh, first thing that we have here uh, at the top below the mandible is, is going to be our hy hyoid bone. Um, this is opposite of our C3 vertebra. Um, next we have our uh, thyroid cartilage, also known as your uh, Adam's apple. And this is uh, located around C4, C5 level. Uh, and then immediately Inferior to that, we have our first uh, coracoid ring, uh, which is opposite uh, C6, just inferior to the lower boy, border of your uh, thyroid cartilage. Uh, and then below that, we have our um, coracoid tubercle, uh, just lateral, about one inch uh, from the ring. Uh, anterior tubercle of the C6 transverse process. Uh, we also have our stenocleidoid mastoid muscle uh, here in the front um, and uh, might be a little bit easier to palpate if we ask him to uh, turn to his opposite side. It should become a little bit more defined. And then um, also, go ahead and face forward, we have our uh, lymph nodes. So again, just uh, medial to our uh, sternocleidomastoid muscle, we have our lymph nodes and if those are inflamed, um, you could palpate those in, in that area. And then we also in, have our thyroid cartilage, uh, uh, which is along the anterior uh, midline of the neck, uh, which is uh, anterior to the C4, C5. And then lastly, we have our, our carotid artery, which we can palpate uh, down at the base of the neck. Uh, again, we, we want to use uh, fingers and not our thumb when we palpate because it has a pulse. Uh, knowledge uh, that you can palpate. Um, we also have uh, our uh, superior uh, neutral line. Uh, this is just a lateral uh, from the inion, a uh, small transverse ridge. Uh, and then we already mentioned the mastoid process which we can palpate. And then we also have our uh, spinous processes, which we can uh, palpate uh, below the occipital bone uh, for each of our vertebra, uh, cervical vertica, vertebra. We also have our uh, facet joints uh, from uh, C2, just uh, lateral from the spinous uh, process. Uh, we also have our trape upper trapezius muscle here on both sides. Uh, that we can uh, palpate, which helps support the neck.